Hey YouTube, it's me again, Gloria, aka Nice Girl, aka Goki Chan. Um, okay, so today I'm gonna give you like a really quick video. Um, last night I took out all of my makeup brushes and I cleaned them really good. And look how clean they turned out. And what did I use to clean my brushes? Well, I do have MAC brush cleaner, but um, like a lot of people say, I mean, like, brush cleaners can become very expensive. So I was looking for an alternative that was cheap, and I ran across a video. Um, it was Michelle Fan, I want to say. Um, yeah, she was saying that uh, you can clean your brushes with dish detergent and um, olive oil. And, I mean, this is something I did in art class and stuff uh, to maintain the brushes, but I didn't. I just didn't apply that information to makeup brushes but essentially it's the same especially if you use antibacterial soap so what I did to clean my brushes first is I took this antibacterial dish liquid and I put a swirl of it in the bowl in the uh, a, I'm sorry a plate here and then I took some extra virgin olive oil like the cat foil maybe and this is the cat um, yeah, so I put a cap full of that and maybe like three swirls around the plate of that. And then what I did was I rinsed my brushes all, not too wet, but rinsed them. And then I would just take the brush and swirl it around the plate like that. And then I just worked it with my hand, made sure to rub the bristles down. And then like I brushed the brush across my hand just to really get all the stuff out and then I rinsed it out and uh, when I rinse when I rinse the uh, sorry you guys when I rinse the brushes out um, I actually made sure I squeeze the brushes to get them nice and flat and in shape again and then um, another thing I did I don't like to lay my brushes sideways because uh, a lot of times what happens is the water gets trapped up in here and when it gets trapped up in here it loosens the glue and your bristles can fall out or either your handle can fall off and I've had that happen a lot in art class and so um, yeah art class taught me a lot about brushes and stuff um, yeah I took studio art for four years so um, anyway so yeah, it's pretty simple. You got to make sure that your brushes are on a downward angle in order to make sure the water doesn't get trapped in the top parts of the brushes and make the bristles fall out or either the handle fall off. And so, what I did, instead of getting some fancy smancy thing or trying to sit them in a cup, because a cup would essentially trap the water in the bottom okay and so the water would just be sitting on the bristles and it would never dry so what I decided to do was I took a little piece of cardboard here and I folded it in half to make almost like a little pyramid okay can you guys see that how it's almost like a little pyramid oh, sorry. it's like a little pyramid and make sure you kind of fold that sharply and so what it does is it creates I'm sorry okay so there's a little pyramid and try to fold that sharply and what it does is creates a downward slope for your brushes and so when you wash your brushes and you smooth them out with your hands after you wring out the water and everything and you shape them you can go ahead and just lay them on this downward angle and all of the water will essentially, gravity will pull the water this way and down into the towel, this up under, versus just sitting on this part and loosening your glue and loosening your bristles. Okay, so I just wanted to share that briefly with you guys. Uh, just a quick recap. Antibacterial dish liquid, extra virgin olive oil in the, uh, in the bowl. Swirl your brushes around and rinse them in warm water. Squeeze the water out and you can make this little stand here uh, just to dry your brushes. Now you always want to make sure they dry because, yeah, you don't want your brushes to be all wet 
and losing handles and stuff they cost way too much even if you get the cheapy weepies you still want to keep them nice okay so